Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Claw Variety Show. I am your not in suit again host, Claw. And today, well, Claw is actually going to get a bath. I'm going to show you how I go through the process of cleaning my fursuit. So, to begin, let's start out with if you have any parts that have stuffing or polyfill or anything of that sort, go ahead and remove that as soon as possible. So, Chloe's hands have stuffing in them, so I'm just going to take those out and put them in a small box so that I can keep up with them because you do not want to lose those. That's That would be a very big inconvenience. So we're going to do that with the other hand as well. All right, so no polyfill. We're going to flip the paw inside out because that's just how we do things. We don't wash things from the outside, we wash them from the inside out. But honestly, because most of your sweat or is interacting with the inside of the suit, we're going to flip it inside out to get to get a clean wash. So there we go. On inside out. We're gonna do that with the other paw. Now what you're going to need for this is a bathtub or a small container that you could put cold water in and some delicate based uh, some delicate based detergent. So what I use is Woolite specifically for delicates because I want to keep my suit looking nice but I don't want any of the harsh soaps to deteriorate my suit. And I said before we used cold water because the fur fibers that your fur suit is made of don't exactly react well with hot water. In fact, the, because the fur fibers are made of plastic, it would virtually destroy your suit. So we're going to take a cup. Because it's only my hands, I'm going to put a little bit of woolite. In here, I'm gonna put that in there, let that soak up. Now, the paws, I don't do any detail washing, I just put them in, let the soap froth a little bit, or let the detergent froth a little bit, just to kind of get nice and clean, get that clean water in it. And I'm going to carefully wring out the water here because Chloe's paws are made a bit differently than other fursuits, but they clean about the same way. So we're just going to squeeze the water out of this and set this to the side on a towel that I've conveniently placed out of sight. And work on this other paw. Let some of that soapy water soak in. Let's remove the watch because I forgot to take my watch off. Oops. And let that soak. Alright, and then we're gonna Squeeze the water out. And I'm going to set this on the conveniently out of place towel. You see all that dirty water is from where? So we're going to put some clean water Again, cold water specifically. Now we're going to take our leg sleeves, and these are huge, and turn them 
inside out. So you take the small end and pull up. Pull the small end through the big end so that your suit, or at least your sleeves as I'm cleaning, are turned inside out. And once again, we're going to use Woolite. I'm going to use a teeny bit more this time because because we're dealing with the sleeves. All right. All right. Let the bubbles froth and just set your sleeve inside. Make sure that it's all submerged because you want to get the whole sleeve clean. Just make sure it has soap going in. And as you can see, we take the water take the sleeve out, you can see all that dirty water coming out. So what I'm going to do is, I'm actually going to scoot this to the side, set this down flat, and roll some of the soapy water out. And this is going to take a little while because of how much water this soaks up and I'm also going to pour this out as well because that's all the dirty water. Because as you can see there's still soap in here and I implore you not to do what I do when I pick up the suit because this actually stretches out your first suit. And nobody wants their carefully crafted suit to be ruined by something as simple as picking up your first suit while wet. That is also why you do not hang up your suit while it's drying because it stretches out the suit and that's not fun. Again, there's still some soap in here, so I'm going to wring out as much as I possibly can. Now I'm going to put in some fresh water in my container. Now I submerge my sleeve again in this to get out as a sort of second rinse to get out any straggling dirt or anything. And carefully lift and slide, pour out this clean water and carefully wring this next set of soap water out of the soup. And what you would continue to do is rinse out as much as possible to get any get any straggling soap to any straggling soap or dirt to get out of your suit to quickly rinsed out. As you can see, this is what the outside of your suit looks like. Wet. But again, it's all in the name of keeping your suit nice, clean, and sweat free. Now, if after several rinses you don't get your suit out, what I do is well, actually, we're going to skip that part. We're going to save that part for later. I'm going to take the sleeve. Bring out. Yeah. 
whatever water I can, which is still a whole lot of water, and set it on the side on top of a towel. Oops. And we're going to do the same thing with the other sleeve. Pull it inside out. There we go. And fill our container up with water again. Bloopity bloopers. Use about half a cup full of woolite. <laughs> and submerge. I might put more cold water in here. This is why I do this in the bathtub because this makes a mess. I'm going to pour the water out. You can see all the murky water is flowing out. And then put more cold water. As you can see, even with me running fresh, clean water on it, there's still a little bit of yucky that I have to get out of the soup. So let's do the second rinse. suits absorb a lot of water so prepare for a lot of hard work ahead. Now, if you can't get all of the soap out of your soup, you either can rinse again multiple times or another option is you can put your soup parts in a pillowcase or a tied up pillowcase, put it in the wash with no soap on delicate, and that should rinse out the rest of the soap as well as the rest of the water. So, we're going to set this to the side and move on to our next step. Now what I have is a zip up pillowcase that zip that zips open and shut. Uh, I cannot recall where you get these. This was a gift. But if you look around Amazon, you might be able to find one. So I'm gonna put both sleeves. Still inside out. And still dripping wet. Both sets of paws. Now, I recommend doing these separate if you can, but I'm doing this for time's sake and because I've done it before and know uh, that my suit parts will come out safe. But please contact your maker if you have any specific questions on cleaning because every maker is different, every suit is different, and care is individualized. All right, that's zipped up. Now we're gonna put this in the wash on low. All right, so this is carefully placed in the wash. And I'm going to set it to rinse because it typically rinses with cold water, but make sure that your washer rinses with cold water as well. Again, ask your maker. And we're just gonna let that go for about uh, 15 minutes, I believe, is how long I typically let it rinse. 
Now I do something specifically different for my tail because it's long and typically I don't, because it's sewed up, I don't feel too much need to submerge it. So instead of submerging it, I get a little bit of cold water on a small rag. That's hot water, I ask for cold water. And a lot of the excess water, I'll go ahead and wring out. And virtually, I just take the small wet rag and wipe it down the tail just to make it look neat. Now, if you have a long tail like mine, this is just going to take a little while, but just wet it to get any dirt out because you don't particularly sweat on your tail. It's mainly back here. So scrub that. That's typically how I clean my tail. I follow it up with, I, now this I hang up to dry on a small clip hanger, but as it dries, I brush the tail out just so that the fur doesn't dry in it in the wet tangled mess that it is and I typically check back with it I check back with it every few minutes and I'll do that as my suit is being rinsed and that's how I take care of the tail all right so this is hanging up to dry right now I'm gonna come back in a few minutes and just continuously brush just to make sure I'm keeping the fur from becoming matted and so that it doesn't dry matted. The end of the tail I'm gonna to touch up in a different way, which you'll see later. But now we just move on to the feet. Now for the top of the feet, I handle them in a similar way that I handle the tail. I take a cold wet rag that I've already rinsed and re-wet it and just run it along the top part of the feet at least. Again, I have a different method for taking care of the bottom of the feet. Let me just make sure we get that one up next. I'm gonna take care of it here. Now that takes care of that. Now for the bottom, I do the same thing I'll run the rag through just a bit but specifically for small stain spots I like to use Folex which is a really good carpet spot remover as I tend to occasionally even while wearing my sandals get a few spots on my feet paws so I just spray a little bit there, kind of agitated a little bit to get it to start to set in. And I let it sit for about, for about 10 to 20 minutes at the most. And meanwhile, while that is drying, I take I take my slicker brush and do the same thing. I just continually brush as it dries so the fur doesn't dry matted. It'll dry smooth as it was when it first came to me. And I check on that in between the tail and the other foot paw, which I will be washing off screen. But I typically just let the slicker brush help with the drying and I use I brush going backwards instead of forwards because slicker brushes are meant to pull out any loose fur however 
the slicker brushes used backwards tend to smooth out. See, there's a spot there. It helps me find any stray things that I missed during the rag cleaning. And it allows the fur to dry faster. As you can see, the the opening to the paws are already starting to dry. These just take a little bit longer because it's they have a lot more fur on them, and you gotta take extra care to make them look nice and neat. So yeah, I will be back with the sleeves or the tip of the tail, depending on which one I can get to next. Oh yes, another side note. Uh, whenever I, I try to get finished with the top of the feet as fast as I can, and I actually prefer to do the top of the feet before I get to the bottoms because you'll have to put your feet paws upside down and let them dry from the folex. So, don't do the oopsie that I did. Do the bottom of the feet after or before you do the top of the feet. Okay, so like I said, I have a special method for brushing the tip of the tail because the fur is so long. I actually use a toothbrush, an unused toothbrush, just a fresh bristle one. And I just lightly brush through the longer fur on my suit because the white fur on her face and on her tail tends to run just a bit long. So I use this instead of the slicker brush to specifically keep her tail, the tips of her tail and the fur on her face nice and fluffy. And it also helps some of some of the less tameable fur to be tamed. As you can see, this oh, this stuck up. It just takes a small stroke of the toothbrush to get it clean. There we go. Because she has a lot of shaggy fur on her tail and on her face. Alright, and so this typically gets the remaining soap out and it feels, it feels like an actual pillow. This is a whole lot lighter than it was when I put it in. So now we're going to move on to our next step. Alright, so I've taken the hand paws out of the suitcase and they look and smell clean but we don't want to keep this all matted so what I do is I just go ahead keep it positioned in a way I keep it positioned on my hand so that I could brush the fur caught a little bit orange for there brush the fur back with with the grain so that her hands look all nice and neat And I just do that as it dries, just like I did with the tail. And because the fur on Chloe, is, on her hands at least, are so short, there's some crunch, it doesn't take too long for them to dry. So I get through with them fairly quickly. And basically what I do is just turn them inside, or outside in, inside out, whatever you want to call it. And boom.
Uh oh, focus camera, focus. There we go. And don't worry about the elastic about the elastic bands. They will be a little bit damp, but they will dry as will the hand paws of the soup. So like I said, as it dries, I just go through and brush them. These, since they're not as heavy and not they're just damp, they're not sopping wet, I hang them up to dry and I brush as it dries. So yeah, I typically hang them up. Let's spread this this way. So yeah, I tend to hang them up on little hangers that have the little clips on them. I hang them up by the edge of the hem and just brush as it dries. And that's simply it. All right, so I've pulled the leg sleeves out because again, they're not sopping wet. I can hang them up as they dry. I flipped them inside out or right side out or however you want to call it. Now this will require your constant attention. Every maybe five minutes as your sleeves are drying, arm sleeves, leg sleeves, bodysuit, anything of that type, you need to brush. Seriously, there's no such thing as too much brushing when it comes to cleaning your suit because if you do not brush, your suit will dry like this. That's not pretty. No one wants to hug that. So just constantly come back, check, and brush. Look how neat that is compared to that. Just keep coming back and brushing and you'll have your suit back to its nice new glint and gleam in no time. Now just checking back in, it's, they're not fully dry yet, but look at that world of difference. Just taking the time to just sit and brush your fur that this makes. But like I said, check back every few minutes and continue to brush and your suit will be dry within maybe... If you want to speed up the process, you could probably, probably put fans around. But I prefer to just let them air dry and I come back and brush them every few minutes just to make sure they're looking nice and neat. All right, time to wash the next part. Don't do this. Guys, seriously, do not put your head in the washing machine. One, it won't fit. Second, no, no, don't put that cute little face in the washing machine. You will never see it again. Instead, I do the exact same thing I do with the feet and the tail. Clean rag. I have a lot of pink rags. And I, I tend to spot clean wherever on the face I need to spot clean. Or wherever on the head, rather. Please be careful about your eyes. Don't just wave the rag around willy-nilly like I am because I'm not smart. Your eyes are probably painted on, please ask your maker about that because, well, you don't want to destroy all that hard work and make your eyes just turn white or gone or go ghost, whatever you want to call it. So just please be careful. Don't do what I'm doing right now. Put paper towels around your eyes so that you don't get water in them and ruin them for the rest of your life. That's bad. I'm Batman. Again, I do the same thing that I do with the tail and the feet. I brush as it dries, depending on where it's needed. Typically for the hair, I can, I need to brush, but for the shorter patches of fur, I use either the toothbrush or let it dry as is, just as long as it's going with the grain. Double check that. Make sure your fur is going with the rain. All right, so for the inside of the head, I take another clean towel with cold water, make sure that there's paper towels or, or paper towels or a dry rag covering up the eyes. If you can see, there we go. Make sure that the eyes are covered up and then slowly and carefully wipe around 
the inside because that's where your head is, that's where your sweat is. Clean it. Make it clean. Like I said before, ask your maker on how to clean your suit because you clean it the wrong way, you're going to have problems. Once the inside is taken care of, make sure that all this is flipped out and set your head to dry upside down. You would typically want to do this part after all the outside of the suit is clean and dry so that you can focus on the inside, put it upside down, let all the moisture flow outward and dry. All right, the leg sleeves and the feet paws are all dry. Now, as you may notice, there's a bit of static causing the fur, specifically on the sleeves, to stick up. What I've learned how to do is use dryer sheets to take care of the static and it leaves the outside of your suit smelling fresh and clean. So I'm just gonna take a jar sheet and just softly rub with the grain to kind of get rid of that excess static. Now you might still have some fur sticking out, but just as long as it's not like insanely staticky, you'll be fine. Because these dryer sheets, they absorb the static and like i said the bonus is that it makes the outside of your suit smell nice and even if you've used a dryer sheet to wipe away the static it still has that nice scent so what you're going to do is put it inside of your sleeve parts and whatnot while it's hanging up when it's not in use that way you could keep that fresh smell going and going and going. And now we're going to do the same thing with the feet. But with my feet there's not a lot of static cling going on. So we're just going to wipe it down for the sake of making it smell nice. And then same thing, we put it inside of the foot paw. It'll keep the foot paw smelling nice. And last the hands. Focus on this one. Just simply wipe down with the grain and place it inside the hand paw. And that takes care of that. The interior of the head is all dry. It smells a lot more fresh. You know, you can barely see what's going on in there. But I like to spray a disinfectant to keep my suit clean and germ free. So you can either use a homemade disinfectant. Mine is two parts um, 70 to 80% alcohol and one part water as a basic uh, non scented disinfectant. Or you can use specifically made fursuit spray. I use Lobita Works's. Vanilla Zilla because vanilla is an amazing scent and I love being able to put on my fursuit head and she smells like vanilla because that's my favorite scent. Just make sure that when you are spraying the inside of your suit to avoid the eyes because again if they get wet that's a problem. So I just like to spray towards the back away from the eyes and then in some cases with the mouth. I'll need to spray so I'll spray from the inside there we go just to get that nice scent on the mouth so that her breath also smells like vanilla and doesn't smell like tuna and just like we do after we wipe the inside we just leave it upside down eyes facing outward and neck fluff turned out so they could just air out and circulate and for added bonus if you're also like me just throw 
a dryer sheet in there or you could just stick to the uh, the fursuit spray if you have the scented spray. Typically if I use the regular disinfectant I throw the dryer sheet inside the head. But anyway, I'm gonna flip her over in just a second. That's how I clean my fursuit.